Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing fantastic and that you're all having a wonderful day. As always, likes, subscribes, and comments. There we go. Comments are always very much appreciated and they do help out the channel immensely. Very big thank you to everyone out there who is a supporter of the channel. Welcome back to another News I Missed where I go over News I missed, I'm still away for a bit longer. No idea exactly how long, but um, yes. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. The and I, and I thought this was going to be the most popular news story when I saw this, but it wasn't. No one was really talking about it. The original meme coin, Dogecoin, is now building a decentralized ecosystem. Dogecoin developers announced the testnet version of the new utility-focused dog chain, or Doge chain is probably exactly what it's called. Offshoot is now open for developers to start building before the mainnet's official launch. Doge chain, they said, is built on Polygon Edge, which lets the projects bootstrap a new blockchain network while providing full compatibility with Ethereum smart contracts and transactions. It uses IBFTA, IBFT, Istanbul Byzantine Fault Tolerance Consensus Mechanism, supporting uh, proof of stake. Oh, that was it. That was the end of the sentence. S supported proof of stake. Okay, sure. According to the project's website, features will include games, non-fungible tokens, decentralized finance, and other decentralized application. I want to stop right there for half a second. I wonder... So much right. I mean, over the last couple of years, if you weren't there during the advent of Dogecoin, I understand. You know, maybe you have heard about Dogecoin since 2020. You saw everything that was going on. You saw the price. You saw the whole Elon Musky thing that was actually going on. This has kind of, I don't even really consider Dogecoin a meme coin anymore. I think there's so many other projects like Baby Doge and Doge Baby Daddy and all these other things that keep popping up. Like, I consider these kind of meme kind of coins, but the fact that there's so much attention constantly around Dogecoin. Remember that map that we saw that was showing, I think it was places within the United States that had uh, the most interest, like, like which coins per state were the most popular? And the vast majority... It was either Bitcoin, Ethereum, it was also Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. They kind of dominated like nearly the entirety of the United States. I think there were two states that actually were for Cardano and every other coin completely fell lower when it came to search results. But it was also the kind of, the, I think, similar as well when it came to Europe. They were doing uh, European countries and a huge majority of them were also buying Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. The fact that these coins now have and will have even more of their own ecosystems. I sit there sometimes and I really wonder like exactly how big these things are going to be. Like what is kind of the limit for a Dogecoin or a Dogecoin price? These, especially Dogecoin, the, the inflation rate is absolutely phenomenally, fantastically insane. Like it is, I think, uh, it was it hundreds of millions, if not billions of coins per day. Correct me if I am incorrect, but I know that it's a huge, gigantic number. But I wonder, like, what if there's all these other things? So it's, it's, it's more of a, uh, it was a joke. It doesn't seem that jokey anymore. And I really wonder, like, when you create your own ecosystem around something, how big can it get? Like, we've seen what other coins are capable of and how much they can do. But when you have millions of people around the world who are actually buying and clamoring for this coin, what's the limit? Is it like an $8 doge? Will at some point in, in 2035, will we see like a, a $15, $16 doge coin? Like these are the things that I always end up wondering. Will other big companies like I, I make, I made many thousands of times and still make them. In the foreseeable future, I did not see many people walking into a, a store and being like, hey, how do you want to pay? And you're like, oh gosh, I would love to pay in doggy coin. But a lot of times the websites that we keep hearing about and all these other major businesses who are now accepting crypto, 
they're also all accepting Dogecoin. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's really weird. Like, it's just this really kind of abstract thing that was just a joke for a long time, but now it's like being taken seriously. And it's a little, I won't lie, it's a little, little, it's a little weird for me. It says Doge itself will be used as gas to power the new chain, which operates as a proof of stake mechanism. Yeah, I, I assume it has to be proof of stake because anything otherwise being created in the cryptocurrency space is just super taboo right now. The new DC native token, I assume that's Doge chain token, will be distributed via an airdrop to Doge holders at an unspecified date with information regarding the snapshot also yet to be announced. I think that's going to be a major catalyst for those of you who've never been around for a major airdrop. Uh, the idea normally is uh, a w two weeks before a coin is airdropped, the price of the coin that you need to hold in order to get the airdrop usually goes absolutely ballistic. Uh, because the more you have of said coin, the more you will get of the actual airdropped coin. If this is anything relatively similar, I don't know if I can even compare it to like ApeCoin and their entire ecosystem, but it's more of a, I feel like this is being done or created not simply because the developers, hear me out, that the developers are trying to make a better, eco, better ecosystem per se. It's more of a, I feel like there's big money behind all of this that we simply cannot see and will never know about. They're trying to build an ecosystem for this thing that they probably have billions of in an attempt to try and get it to a dollar. But also, you know, what if this takes off? What if Dogecoin has its own, this is all hypothetical, and, and I, I'm not an investor in Dogecoin, just as an FYI, like I also do not hold any, or I, I don't, unless people have given them to me, I don't think I hold uh, Dogecoin. But you understand, like it's these really weird, like, hey, it was a joke, but now it's like gonna be a major project. Like what if their metaverse ends up taking off? Like what if it looks cute and cool and, and there's like you know doges running around everywhere but like people end up hanging out there and like spending it and, and it ends up making billions of dollars per year that would get like major companies and venture capitalists like to go into it as well and i always just wonder like what's the what's the limit for all these things because to be fair i expected dogecoin to disappear after like a year like i mean years and years ago when it first came out i was like oh that's cool i had a friend who dabbled in it but then like it kind of went into obscurity as other coins were being created and all the discussions years ago were about Tron and Cardano and the like. But now Dogecoin is like super popular. And I think the airdrop is only going to give it a lot more attention as well. Especially as we get close. Like once again, this was not major news. That's what I found the most interesting about it. Like th there's tons of news floating around even now about the whole Elon Musk Dogecoin thing going on. And he keeps giving it his support. But... I kind of assumed the idea of a proof of stake chain that was with accumulated next to fused to Dogecoin that's going to be using Doge as actual gas that's going to have NFTs, DeFi, and other things on top of it kind of would have made hyper... I mean, this was barely anywhere that I could find. I was very, very shocked. Regarding funding for the new ecosystem, Doge... Doge is a person or the doge developers said dogecoin has no special venture capital wow how funny i was just mentioning that it says dogecoin has no special venture capital allocations everything is transparent and distributed to the community first how fascinating how absolutely fascinating anyway yeah that's the dogecoin news uh we will definitely be getting news about some type of an airdrop or a date um I'm still expecting a $1 doge at some point. I think that'll be the most interesting thing in the entire world, especially if that ends up getting a dollar before XRP or Cardano does once again. I think that'd be a little bit weird. Anyway, that's the Dogecoin is building a metaverse NFT DeFi platform using proof of stake. And Dogecoin will actually be used as gas because usually... I remember I ranted before, companies will create a new chain called Doge Chain, and then they'll have another coin called Woof Woof, and then you have to spend Woof Woof in order to get Paw, and then Paw will uh, be sold for something else, and it's like, it's always so convoluted, so 
you know, using the actual Dogecoin makes a lot of sense to me. Anyway, that's the Dogecoin news. And yeah, let's move on. Also in the news, Immutable, the firm behind the Immutable X Layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum, has announced the launch of a $500 million fund to boost developer adoption of the platform. The Immutable Ventures Fund will invest in and provide grants to projects that build on Immutable X using a mix of IMX tokens and cash in partnership with an array of venture capital funds and ecosystem allies. It's always venture capital funds. Immutable revealed the half a billion dollar endeavor, which includes assets from firms like Animoca Brands, the people who made Board Ape, Bitcraft Ventures, GameStop, Arrington Capital, King River Capital, Airtree, and Double Peak. I am very interested in what Animoca and GameStop and Arrington Capital are going to be doing on top of Immutable X. This really, I don't know what, what revived it, what was the spark that bought it back. Years ago, I've mentioned this before, I got it. Years ago, the idea of what would make crypto extremely mainstream was video games. And now we are currently at this point where everyone seems to be recreating, remaking, uh, or launching video games on these blockchains. I wonder if they're actually going to be usable not in a joking manner. A lot of times, old video games on the on blockchains, uh, you had to pay for every transaction. Every time something happened, you had to uh, pay for every movement, every click that you made, because it has a transaction on the actual blockchain. And we know that GameStop is also making their own NFTs and all these other things in video games. And I wonder how this is all coming together. This is what when I when I talk about the 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 conversations that happen in the dark that we are not a part of. This is kind of it. Like, what is happening behind the scenes that we don't know about when all these major names are putting half a billion dollars just for an Immutable X fund? It says, Immutable Ventures will target NFT projects that are committed to our growing digital ecosystem with the understanding that we have just begun to scratch the surface of the massive potential for this category. Immutable X is a scaling solution that enables faster, Cheaper and more energy-efficient transactions than Ethereum's own mainnet can handle because, you know, life. Uh, the platform conducts transactions on a separate chain and then uses Starkware's StarkX roll-up technology, sounds like Iron Man, to bundle the transaction and commit them to the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, Immutable X is, or rather, should be. Uh, Immutable X is, oh gosh, what is it? Uh, the DC NFTs, the, I forgot what they're called. DC NFT, sure, why not? And they're also partnered with, or I think the people from VV are using them, or they say that they're using them, or something like that. Immutable X, and I'm and I'm very grateful, and I'll say, you know, last point, I'm very grateful for Immutable X and Polygon, simply because I think Ethereum would be nearly unusable at this moment with all the actual attention. Keeping in mind that we're still seeing tons of attention being paid to NFTs, regardless of what the current... Uh, market actually is because I think with all the money floating around it, I think NFTs are still going to be a major thing. I think we are in like a, a bit of a cavernous period at the moment, but I think once prices go back up, I think prices across the board for everything will begin to rise once again. Yeah, that's the Immutable X news. This is the fourth, fifth time that we're hearing about another uh, half a billion dollar fund. There was another one from some other companies and a couple of, I think, banks or something like that for some like DeFi fund. Uh, I think, um, was it MicroStrategy? They just made another like $2.5 billion fund as well to also buy more crypto. I think one of the other crypto exchanges also has another like really big fund. Kind of crazy, right? Especially with the market going down. <laughs> anyway, that's the Immutable X News. And yeah, let's move on. Also in some really weird news, Switzerland's principal stock exchange, the Six Swiss Exchange, 
has postponed the launch of its institutional crypto services following the market crash. Due to prevailing market conditions, Six Swiss Exchange has postponed the launch of its crypto services arm, known as Six Digital Exchange or SDX. Of note, the stock exchange is Switzerland's main and third largest of its kind in Europe. In September of last year, the nation's regulator gave it the green light to launch crypto-related services exclusively to regulated institutions. More specifically, SDX planned on providing custody and staking services to banks, hedge funds, and other licensed firms. Now, due to current market conditions, the exchange's crypto services has been put off indefinitely, the Wall Street Journal has reported. Okay, one more time. Maybe my English isn't that good no more um indefinitely means like no more right and i'm asking because most of this article here said it was postponed indefinitely in my english means like hey this trip has been stopped indefinitely it, it's no more did i get that incorrect because i feel like i didn't in the past year Several of Switzerland's traditional financial players have gotten into the cryptocurrency game. Other than the six Swiss exchange, others are Arab Bank Switzerland, that's a very direct name, BBVA Bank, and the nation's largest online bank known as Swiss Quote. The stock exchange expected to tap into the nation's wealthy class, of course, to make cryptocurrencies a part of their portfolio. Recently, however, the crypto market has seen billions of dollars wiped out as its overall market cap plummeted below $1 trillion. Um, so yeah, I just assumed that this was going to happen. And I, once again, the word postpone is kind of everywhere, but the word indefinitely, like, hey, that's definitely going to happen. Or like, oh no, the school is closed indefinitely. See, am I, am I, am I missing something? So we'll see what happens. I assume it's just been postponed uh anything listen switzerland is known as a relatively wealthy country so i don't assume if we do end up skyrocketing once again uh in price that they're going to be like no 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 money for us we can't make any money everyone step back so it'll definitely launch at some point i think this may be the first institution that we've got like who's not doing something during the crypto winter if you will like Every other company has been like, oh, what? Prices are going down. That's terrible. So we're hiring 9,000 people and we just bought another $3.5 billion worth. Of, like, it, it seems like everyone else is kind of uh, doing the same thing they were going to be doing before. I wonder what, uh, what spooked the Switzerland ex uh, uh, exchange. Anyway, that's the Switzerland news. Sure. Why not? Let's move on. Also in news, because this also always ends up making popular news in some sort of way. Bangladesh Bank, the central bank of the South Asian country, has revealed plans to conduct a feasibility study on the possibility of induce, in, inducing, introducing a central bank digital currency backed by blockchain. Minister of Finance A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal Disclose the plan before the Bangladesh parliament as part of the country's budget for the year 2022 to 2023. According to Kamal, many countries worldwide are looking into central bank digital currencies as viable alternatives to risky private digital currencies. And I'm really glad that that was also added in here because a lot of times they like to lie to us and pretend that the reason why they're trying to... Um, why they're trying to make a central bank digital currency is for the actual protection of the people. No, they realize that cryptocurrencies are, are I don't want to say the word dangerous, uh, but they're not fitted for the old world as it is the year 2022 and we should not be using systems from the 1960s and 1970s. And one of their main ways of going to be trying to circumvent everything that's going on in a more free world is to try and create their own digital currencies which they will then claim are more stable than crypto which will be true because they will be pegged one to one but they're still going to be based off of the old financial system and will still be inflated year after year after year so i'm not and also will be a far more dystopian because uh as we've heard many other times through many other 
conversations uh, between the Senate and Congress in the United States, uh, they will only need to be able to hit a big red button per se uh, to freeze accounts and to, you know, should the stock exchange go down. Uh, this was also, what was this? There was, there was another country, this was about a year ago. Um, we got the report from them. And it basically stated something along the lines that they were having conversations, relatively open. It was like in their parliament. But the idea was if there is a banking crisis or a stock market crash, uh, would they then be able to siphon off money directly from people's wallets to kind of uh, restart the economy? And the guy was like, yes, of course. And they were like, this sounds great. This sounds absolutely wonderful. So, you know, dystopia and all that. The minister noted that the growth of the country's internet coverage and e-commerce sector has made it necessary to consider this alternative, adding that the main purpose of the central bank digital currency will be to facilitate virtual transactions and encourage startups and e-commerce businesses. Seeming like just like a normal economy? Okay. They said as a result of the time-befitting steps of the present government, the coverage of the internet and e-commerce in the country... Why do they keep talking? Is, is internet new there? Why do they keep mentioning... Virtual transactions and internet. Okay. And e-commerce in the country has increased tremendously. In this context, the Bangladesh Bank will conduct a feasibility study on the possibility of introducing a central bank digital currency in Bangladesh. I think they probably already have it done. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. I think countries release news like this simply as a way to kind of gauge and see where the public is. If you simply launch something like this and people don't like it, people will you know, tend to tend to get a little angry. But if you announce, hey, we're looking into it and you keep pushing that news out there, especially if it goes onto their normal TV news, uh, but no one really complains about it, then you kind of have a, a free pass to be able to create something like this. So often any country announcing that they're getting into a central bank digital currency always makes really big news. I don't understand why it captures people's imaginations these aren't cryptocurrencies they are digital centralized currencies uh but it always makes the news like this was actually this and other countries announcing that they're going to be releasing their own central bank digital currencies was more popular than than the dogecoin metaverse thing which i just i just assumed was going to be like you know the it news anyway that's the country of Bangladesh is going to be creating their own, or sorry, looking into the feasibility of creating their own uh, digital currency, which I, I think they all have them already. I, I feel it in my heart of hearts. Anyway, that's the Bangladesh news. Yeah. Let's move on. Right. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, a great morning. I don't know. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it is. Oh, Bitcoin has two buses. Whoa, no way. We've only ever seen one bus. You remember that? There's always just one Bitcoin bus. I uh, hope you all have a great day, great morning, great afternoon, great evening. Wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely Fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking. Jeez, these buses are fast. To you all soon. Jeez, that wasn't even full. All right. See you.